What is up guys, Shinchi42 here. So in this video, we're gonna be addressing some tips for the free to play players on how they can be successful in this game. Now guys, if you guys wanna be the best player in your kingdom and the most electrifying player in your kingdom, make sure to subscribe and turn the notification on. And guys, don't forget to share this video to your friends, family members, and even to your enemies. <laughs> All right, so tip number one is to do your daily quest. Now I've reinstated this so many times already. Do your daily quest because you're going to get a lot of things in here. So you can see a lot of resources in the 20 activity points, more resources and more items here. And at the end, you're going to get some gems, golden keys and some sculptures. Now this is going to be depending on your VIP level. I believe it's depending on your VIP level. This is going to change the amount of Epic Commander and some of this stuff here. But do your daily objectives because you're going to get a lot of things here. So that's the easiest part, right? Doing your daily quest, that's just grinding, putting some effort in it. Second tip, tip number two is do your events. So your events is going to be in this page as you guys can see this right here. Do your events. So as you guys can see, I have been working on my events and I've just been consuming some of these action points. There's a bunch of stuff here, build collection, resource gathering, very easy. And you guys are getting a lot of these speed ups. You know, guys, this is easy. Just do your events and this is going to work out very well. So some of these stuff I still need to work on. And um, if you want to really be successful and not spend a lot of money in this game or be a free to play player, there's a lot of ways. So there is no excuse to be to not to be a successful player in this game. OK, number three. So tip number three is Keep on farming barbarians and resources. So I actually have a cheat sheet here that I wrote down. I want to make sure that I tackle everything for you guys. Okay, so farm, 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 guys. Farm barbarians. Look at these rewards, guys. You guys are getting all these potential rewards. So if you guys can see, I am actually been farming a lot of barbarians here, as you guys can see, even the lower ones. So I can just like piggyback on them. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm trying to what I meant by that. As you guys can see, I'm getting a lot of potential rewards here. 42, 750 stones here and some speed ups also, even though they're just like uh, one minute speed up, they're still going to add up. So guys, as you guys can see, I have my low heart here and he has this talent that is going to help me to reduce the cost of action points. This insight is reduce the action points, attack of our bands and other neutral units by 10. And this is going to be very useful. So if I attack this level 21, as you guys can see, instead of a 150 action points, now it become to 40, and I've actually, because of that talent, and I've also used two attacks already, now it had dropped down two, active, two action points, now it's 36, so it becomes because of four, total of four, right? And my tip here is, guys, is to farm barbarians, use your action points, and then farm resources. When you don't have any more action points, Go start farming your resources until you have some um, action points back again because in reality when you farm barbarians you get the most rewards here than the than farming the resources right farm barbarians and also send out some units that farm into your alliance resource center so the alliance resource center are like this this is the alliance resource center as you can see our um, alliance here is building a alliance granary so tip number four here, guys, is go to your VIP shop and buy these materials or the items here that cost resources, not gems. So instead of using the gems, I buy a lot of these things with the resources. So buy this basic action recovery and uh, five minutes speed up. See, you can buy speed ups here, guys, without using gems. Isn't that amazing? The Rise of Civilization developers, they've really adjusted the game. I've noticed that they've adjusted the game to the free to play players because they want to keep the free to play players in this game. And as you guys can see, you can also buy these uh, Starlight Sculptures and that's in the, uh, the Epic Starlight Sculptures and the Legendary Starlight Sculptures. Now, this is going to be very helpful for you guys. You need to hoard these guys because at the end, if you want to upgrade your commanders, it's going to cost you a lot of these sculptures. So buy them as early as you can when it's available for you. So you guys, there is no excuse to say, hey, I can't get any speed ups. 
can just I'm just showing to you guys right now that you can buy speed ups by using your resources. You don't even need to buy it with gems. As you guys see, this is only by uh, buying this by with the uh, with a, a corn or the farm. Very easy to farm, and there's a lot of uh, farm. In, there's a lot of cropland in this game that you guys can farm, and you have some good gatherers that can farm these. So focused on that, guys, and that's how you guys can be successful and increase your power by having this. Now, the downside of this is that you're going to be losing a lot of resources, right? But you need to just make it up by grinding. Tip number five is the most common mistake that players do. Majority of the players, they just want to upgrade to three star right away and unlock this, um, you know, this skills right here. And they want to get that commander pairing. So if you're a free to play player, this is going to be very difficult for you. Also, if you start doing this, your commanders are basically going to be very useless. If you use them in a battle, it's going to be very useless. So do what this I'm doing right here, a bit Pelagius. As you guys can see, I'm upgrading the level one skill, this first skill first to level five. And then I'm going to upgrade that to second star, and I'm going to upgrade this, and then third star, and upgrade this, right? Or you can also go straight to three stars, and then upgrade both of them before you move on to the fourth, uh, fourth skill. So some, that's one of the biggest mistakes that players do. So here, there's an exception in here, though. The gatherers, right? You want to upgrade your gatherers as fast as you can. Get that three star right away because the stuff in here for the gatherers, the second and third skill are the ones going to help you with gathering. So the exception is the gatherers. This is the most common mistake. And I'm giving you guys a tip. And I believe a lot of free-to-play players are making this mistake too. And probably not just the free-to-play players. Maybe the spenders and uh, very inexperienced players are making this mistake. So we need to correct this, guys. So guys... Make sure to be patient, collect those um, sculptures and uh, the exchange sculptures, the universal sculptures. Uh, be, just be patient because you will be able to upgrade them as I have done with my commanders here. You guys are going to get there at some point. You just need to be very patient. Tip number six. Now, this tip is going to be very common sense and just really depends on your personality, right? Now, there is this thing called Kingdom Chat or KC. So when you go to kingdom chat, there's this, that right? you can talk to everybody in the kingdom. Now you need to be very nice and not be very douchey. Don't start trash talking other players. Don't call people names because what this thing, what's going to happen is you're going to get, you're going to attract attentions to these players and you're going to get zeroed in. So be nice to the players. You don't need to be a douche. This is just a game. Be nice and be courteous. Now, if you want to be that guy, now you're not going to be successful. People are going to be zoning in on you, honing on your town, and they're going to find you. They're going to, they're going to keep track of your game ID in this game, even if you change your name. There, people are very diligent in here, and especially in this kingdom, if you're a douche, you're going to get whooped. So be nice. That's my tip number six. Just be a nice person. So tip number seven, it's kind of related to tip number six. This is going to be, I don't know how to say this, but don't be creepy. When you're messaging other players, don't be weird and don't be creepy. This is going to also bring you down. This is going to bring your reputation down. I've seen some messages. I've seen some screenshots. Remember, people take screenshots. Be nice. Just be normal. Don't be creepy. Um, I've seen some players that are women and they get these messages from the guys that are in this game and they are so creepy sometimes. And they say a bunch of things that are very rude and very inappropriate. Now, you're just ruining your image because these pictures here, they circulate around. And if you got targeted by some other players and they want to just take you down, your whole game is going to be gone, right? So be nice. Don't be creepy. And also be careful. There's some trap accounts there. They're not even women. They're guys. So, you know, just be nice. Don't be creepy. If you want to make friends in the game more power to you but do it in the non-creepy way because you're gonna get targeted by some of the bigger players if you're creepy because remember in this game we make a lot of friends and we want to protect our friends too for human beings playing this game we all have feelings and this is just basically just like real life tip number eight this is going to be very common sense just be active do your daily quest do your events farm barbarians farm resources be active in the alliance talk to your alliance members chat to chat with them build some relationship here get to know your teammates this is going to help you 
progress in the game let's say if you end up needing something for your alliance they're gonna be more willing to help you out because they know you they know you're active and they know you are part of the community very very common sense guys this is just very easy just be active play the game constantly and grind a lot tip number nine is to find a good alliance find an alliance that is very active um, I'm get, gonna tell you guys everything because I'm gonna create a video about this so I'm gonna give you guys some of the gist of this so find a good alliance that are very active find an alliance that will help you grow like what we're doing in TIK we are helping players to grow as you can see we put markers on the uh, members here if they need a help so I'm gonna change this marker actually to a defense marker so Rats Jr. needs some um, wood assistance that we're going to be giving him some wood and I'm actually giving him some stones also because he had requested from some, for some stones. Now this is how we do it in TIK. Find a good alliance that will help you grow and just be active and there's going to be a lot more and then we're going to create a video about this because it's going to be a whole new topic. Just find a good alliance, find a good leader that would help you guys to be successful and uh, Find a leader that has experience in the game because if they are very inexperienced and they keep controlling everyone's actions, they are not a good fit for you. Tip number 10. Now, what you need to do is to upgrade your city hall as fast as you can and upgrade your academy. You need to be focusing on these two. So when you're going through your academy, you need to be working on your military technology. Get into the T2 units right away and get into heat three right away. Just do the bare minimum. I've talked about this in the other videos. So focus on your city hall and your academy. These are the two things that you really need to be focusing on. You don't need to upgrade every single building in this, in this game. You need to be rushing into upgrading your city hall and um, your academy. So just upgrade the bare minimum for all these buildings here just to suffice to upgrade your city hall. Tip number 11 constantly train troops as you guys can see i'm constantly training troops i don't stop training troops i keep on training troops as soon as it's done you train troops again and again and again so tip number 12 you need to go to your vip collect this vip login points that you get every day and collect this vip uh, exclusive chest free every day so you guys need to collect these and also you need to go to this this page i don't know what it's called this gem page and go to the daily special offer and you guys can get this treasure chest that you get resources i don't know how much resources you get from here but you can claim this every day you don't need to purchase anything okay you need you can claim this this is free you need to claim this this is going to help you as a free to play player and get some resources so guys i've given you guys 12 great tips for free to play players I hope this video has been very helpful for you guys and I hope you guys like this video and if you guys do give this video a thumbs up Okay guys, and I want to know your progression So come back to this video leave a comment below about how you're progressing or you guys can connect to me through discord Instagram twitch or Facebook. I have all those links in the description below as well So check those out Let me know how you're progressing and never ever hesitate to message me or leave a comment in the in this video or in any videos i want to see how you're progressing i want to help you guys out because when i first started this game there were no guides at all and i had to figure a lot of things out but i'm here to help you guys out i want you guys to be successful and enjoy this game it brings me joy to see players that are being successful in this game so make sure to let me know how i am helping you guys in this game so guys ta-ta for now that notification on and subscribe to this channel and also guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't for freaking don't forget to share this video <laughs> don't forget to share this video don't forget to share it to your friends family members and even to your enemies that's the line what is up guys shinchi42 here so in this video we're going to be giving you guys out some helpful tips how blah, 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 blah. Other players in kingdom chat be courteous because this is going to be your biggest downfall and I've seen a lot of players that had got zeroed because of Kingdom Chat. It's because they want to trash talk. They want to be a douche, right? They want to be... I don't know what the right word is. I want to be... I want to be can't, there's a lot of things that I can't say. So guys, I'm giving you guys 12 amazing free-to-play player tips. I hope this is very helpful for you guys. 
and I want to know your progression. So make sure to leave a comment section, leave a com leave a comment below. How hard is it to say these things, man? Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your opinion and make sure don't forget to like and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll definitely see you guys in the next video.